Hi, I'm Peter Norvig. I'm Director of Research at Google. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how Google views data analytics, how we uh, think about making decisions both for our products and improving them and uh, generating new ones, and also in terms of business decisions. So we're a company that uh, clearly is built on top of a lot of data. We had the idea of uh, let's get a copy of the web and see what we can do with it, and hopefully good things will happen. There's a lot of data out, out there. And every time we think about making a decision, we think about doing experiments and uh, proving that the results make sense. So we want to make a change to our search engine. Our engineers have pretty good intuitions about what's going to work and what's not going to work. Uh, but we don't go just by the, the intuitions. We try something, we build it, then we go out and we run an experiment. We say, here's this new change, let's show that to some of our users, let's show the old stuff to some of our users, compare the results, see which one is doing better. And then when it comes time to make the, decision, the business decision, is this something we're going to go ahead and launch, uh, the discussion is driven by data, saying, uh, uh, here's the results, here's the numbers we got in one case, here's the numbers we got in another case, and that makes the whole uh, process easier. Now, of course, there's some things you, uh, you can't measure or, or it's hard to predict. You know, we can do an experiment and say what the results are right now. You can't do an experiment and say, uh, well, how are things going to evolve over time and a year from now, what, it's going, what is it going to be look like? Uh, uh, it's, it's harder to predict the future than the present. Uh, and so we have to think about that. We have to uh, still have intuition to, to say, yes, this looks like a big win now, uh, but we're not going to do it anyways because we think if we went in that direction, uh, things would start to go downhill. Uh, and it sometimes turns out that the company is, is so driven by data that it's harder for us to make those kinds of decisions. And maybe it should be harder to make a decision uh, when you don't have the right data. We think about that throughout the company, so I talked about how it works for our own internal search. We, we like to make that data available to our users and customers. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, analytics available for our advertisers so they can do this kind of experimentation. They can see what's working for them and improve their own processes as well. And we think that this general approach has wide applicability across lots of industries and that companies should be saying, uh, what, what information can I gather? How can I understand my users better, uh, my customers better by gathering data from them and then doing the analytics over that to make decisions? I think we also have an advantage that we were uh, built from the start around unstructured data, not just around traditional databases, but about messy data like uh, text from the web and so on. And I think increasingly we're seeing that uh, more of the data is available in this messy unstructured format and less is in the, the uh, nice, neat database tables. And companies need to develop expertise in, in working with both of those types of data and combining them together. Uh, We've been able to do that. Uh, you know, we started traditionally as a company looking at uh, the text on web pages, and then we branched out from there. And there's all sorts of new types of data we're looking at. So we're doing uh, image processing now, both to do our image search online and with our phones. We want to be able to uh, recognize objects in the world, scan barcodes and so on, figure out where you are. Uh, we're uh, uh, dealing with a lot of geographic data. So we have our satellite imagery and the, the street view imagery from our cars that drive around trying to make sense of the real world and, and show that to our users in a, in a way that's useful to them. Uh, we're dealing with uh, speech recognition uh, as an interface to the phones and as a way to take dictation and so on. And so uh, they're dealing with a, a different media of, in, of input and in speech and you're dealing with a difficult recognition problem and with kind of the user interface problem of you know you're going to make mistakes in speech recognition. It's, it's never perfect and how do you recover from those types of mistakes. And those, those are just some of the examples. There's just lots of, of opportunities for different types of data and we're exploring uh, as many of them as we can.